Maritime Made on East Link TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc., Nova Scotia's business development agency. Wowie cowie. Gooey mooey. Sea salt toffee. Or just good old PEI strawberry. These are just four of the over 30 delicious ice cream flavors served at Cow's Ice Cream in Charlottetown, PEI. Cow's is well known for their world-class, thick and delicious ice cream that is handmade at the Charlottetown facility and shipped to Cow's stores across Canada. Like any good quality ice cream, the main ingredient starts here. From handsome PEI dairy cows. You guessed it, it's milk. The milk arrives fresh daily from dairies across the island. First, the cream is separated from the milk and stored for future use. Then the milk is heated or pasteurized in order to sterilize the milk. Once pasteurized, the milk is stored in one of two giant tanks until needed. When a new batch of ice cream needs to be made, the milk and a percentage of the cream that was earlier removed are mixed in a large stainless steel tank. The ingredients are slowly heated and mixed, while other ingredients are added. The entire process is computer controlled and constant paper records are kept in order to adhere to food safety requirements and for quality control. A worker adds a combination of ingredients, including sugar and a whole lot of delicious whole eggs. Once all the ingredients are mixed and heated to the required temperature, they're sent through a homogenizer. The homogenizer breaks up the cream fats into smaller pieces so that they mix well with the other ingredients. Once the mixture is homogenized, it passes through a plate cooler. The plate cooler uses iced water to rapidly cool the mixture before it's stored in large tanks. The storage tanks are kept cool by a large refrigeration system until the mixture is needed. When the mixture is ready, it moves to the packaging room, where a worker fills bags of ice cream mix. The bags are then sent to the creamery, where all the magic happens. The Cow's Creamery has four small batch ice cream makers on site. each making a different ice cream flavor. Cleanliness is very important at Cows. Before entering the creamery, workers thoroughly wash their hands with soap and water. Large ice cream tubs are first disinfected with a food safe cleaner. A label with the ice cream flavor and list of ingredients is then attached to each tub. The first stage to ice cream making is to prepare the ingredients. 
cacao's uses only the finest ingredients, including local fresh strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. They'll also freeze some for use when they aren't in season. Cows also uses candies and chocolates that are made at their sister facility, Anne of Green Gables Chocolates. Each batch of ice cream requires about four bags of ice cream mix. As well as a good helping of Madagascar vanilla. And this is not your typical grocery store vanilla. The worker fills the ice cream maker as full as they can, so as to keep out as much air as possible. Cow's is a premium ice cream with 16% butter fat. So the goal is to create a rich and thick quality ice cream. For some ice cream, such as strawberry, other ingredients may be added at this time. Once full, the ice cream maker will mix and rapidly cool the mixture in order to create that smooth, thick ice cream texture we all love. Now the ice cream mixture is fully mixed and cooled, the worker pulls a lever to pour the ice cream into a tub. As the ice cream flows, one or two workers will add the other ingredients, such as the toffee and almond toffee crunch found in the wowie cowie flavor. Once a batch has been poured into tubs, it makes its way to the freezer. First, tubs are rapidly frozen in the blast freezer. This uses air to cool the tubs to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Then the tubs are moved for storage at minus 25 degrees Celsius. Cow's ice cream is served at cow stores all across Canada, in cones and in cups. And no matter how you like your ice cream, Cow's is some of the best. Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Because great things are happening.